Well, a big story in the NFL is about the New England Patriots and Tom Brady and Bill Belichick using underinflated football. Now, I find it somewhat amusing since the Patriots did win like 45 to 7. So I don't think that the footballs were inflated properly, you know, like so many pounds per square inch. I don't think that would have made a difference. But here's my thing is, and nobody's talking about this, even our sports guys on 104.5, you got 1,696 players in the NFL. Every team's got 52 players, 45 on the active man roster, so you go ahead and add it up. Get your calculator out of there. Yeah, because 52 times 32, it's like 1696. And the Patriots are taking all of this heat for using under footballs in the AFC Championship game. See, my point with this is, aren't all 32 teams, all the players, using under footballs? I mean, think about it. All of these guys have small balls. That's why they're on the steroids. When you do steroids and you inject crap in your muscles, your balls shrink up. You can act me. You ever see these guys in the locker room being interviewed? They got women boo boobs. You know why? Because they all on steroids. And anybody who's ever been in the gym, Joe Weeder pills, the old parachute pants, all of those guys have small balls. I've seen them in the gym after they work out and they shower. I'm seeing all of these stretch marks. I'm seeing acne kick in. You know why? Because they all got small balls. That's what steroids do to you. It gives all men underinflated balls slash Chinese. So don't give me this stuff about the Patriots using underinflated balls. Every guy in the freaking league, especially defensive and offensive linemen, they all are using underinflated balls because they're doing steroids. Their balls shrink.